Are Heimer tools as good as they say they are? Well, let's throw a drill in our holder and throw our holder in the machine, and let's do some indicating to see how good this thing's gonna spin out around. So at the shank of the drill here, you can see my results are two microns. Now, to me, this is pretty much perfect. Two microns could be the holder, the machine, the drill itself. It's really hard to say. So that is definitely a pass in my book. Now, before I show you the tip of the drill, I wanna demonstrate how easy it is to move this drill. Just with my finger here, I can easily get anywhere from 50 to 100 microns. So yeah, we gotta kinda of take these readings with a grain of salt. But when I spin the drill backwards here, you can see my readings are roughly 10 microns between all the points, which to me, again, is really good. It's hard to say what that is. But I'll show you one more time. This is what we got when we spun the drill backwards. I got roughly eight microns there. Spun it around to the other side, I got 10 microns right there. And when I spun it around again, I got 20 microns at the high point. So in total, that's about a 12 micron run out. Again, that's really good as far as I'm concerned. And then of course, the real benefit of having a shrink fit holder is you always have perfect coolant through. Look at that, just a thing of beauty right there.